Are there special direction finders for pulse jammers? Can a radio frequency impact indicator record a single pulse of a weak jammer and still ignore nearby lightning discharges? What percent of modern meters allow hidden use of free electricity? Watch this video till the end and you will know all about it. Spectrum analyzers, which electric supply companies successfully use to find frequency generators, are not known to be very effective at detecting pulse jammers. Some pulse jammers can be heard well into the midwave range. However, a radio receiver cannot hear everything. There is another special device. It has many functions and purposes, but its main purpose is to detect all kinds of pulse jammers. The maximum detection range depends on many factors. Usually pulse jammers can be detected at a distance of 30 to 500 meters. This device has an internal directional antenna, which allows you to determine from which direction the radio waves of the pulse jammer are coming. The four-digit display shows the magnitude of the signal and its period. This information helps to accurately identify the source of radio waves, even in an apartment building. The latest modifications of the device can be equipped with external active interchangeable antennas for the range of very low frequencies. The device has a small size and can be used without unnecessary attention. The battery charge is enough for 40 hours of uninterrupted operation of the device. A few words about other jammers that put the meter's processor into sleep mode with one powerful pulse. The meter continues to work after restarting. The impulse from them is very short. The intensity of the electromagnetic field is less than in a close lightning discharge. All kinds of direction finders are helpless against these jammers. Is it possible to create a simple electromagnetic field indicator that will work correctly? So, you see such an indicator in front of you. Attention, lightning discharge will be heard now. The indicator is not lighting. Now the jammer clicks. The indicator is lighting. We compare the oscillograms on the same scale. The induced voltage in the antenna from a pulse jammer is much lower than that from a lightning strike. There are no filters in the indicator. Interesting technical solutions have many times increased the correctness of the operation of the indicator in a wide range of frequencies. And about the protection of meters. The most difficult test for meters is resistance to electromagnetic impacts. It is not correct to test them in five minutes with one or two kinds of jammers. Tests based on technical regulations do not reflect the real protection situation. There are many types of jammers with different field characteristics. Meters must be tested in different modes according to the logic of their work. It's necessary to analyze the records in the memory of the smart meter. It's not right to test in five minutes with one or two types of jammers. The test requires a good set of jammers, knowledge, and experience. The jammers create fields that are different from the electromagnetic fields of the meter test benches. Good testing is needed. After all, dozens of clever, talented people are trying to hack the meter and do experiments. And they succeed. Modern meter models, when properly tested, do not always behave as manufacturers and energy companies expect. Some are easy to stop. And some are harder to stop. For some types of meters, it takes a long time to select the jammer and find the weak point. Some have electromagnetic field indicators that do not record the impact when the meter stops. About 7% of meters fail forever. Some were able to stop, but the indicator remembers the impact. Some are perfectly protected against electromagnetic impacts. This diagram is the result of tests of more than 30 types of meters that came to us for testing. We chose the best purchasing variants. As you can see, most of the new meter types remain poorly protected. Old meter types are very often poorly protected. If your company needs similar meter tests, you can use my services. If you are interested in the topic of electromagnetic effects on devices, subscribe to my channel. New videos appear here infrequently, but they always have interesting, useful information for professionals. Thank you for watching. If you have some questions, please write it in the comments or email me.